Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Ritual League 3.13. In this episode, I have another build and another AFK tier 16. So here we have a Blighted Park with triple teal 15 lucky chests. And then we're going to put this uh, four chisels on it. And, you know, the norm, take off all the flasks. We're going to take off the abilities, and we're going to do this Blight Map T16 Park. Uh, so this is my primordial chain build that's what i'll call this one that's the diff here so this is a primordial chain build that's the main main focus for this one so with being a primordial chain build uh you can't run any non-golem minions so no skitter bots no specters no animate guardian you're just golems so this is kind of like going that that chains of command chest plate and being only an animate guardian animate weapon build but but now we're doing it well this is just golems for now so uh the primordial chain i went for the 35 percent less damage 35 percent less life and i the move speed i went for just 85 uh, i prioritized less damage and less life because those were uh seem more impactful than move speed the move speed is a bonus stat it's not a loss so i want the other ones as light uh as little as possible and that one i don't care uh move speed was nice but i don't need it to be a hundred okay so this is a primordial chain build i'm running tons of golems so this gives me plus three i'm an elementalist so i have plus two i run an anima stone for another plus two and i run golem commander for plus one so i have nine golems uh, we're an elementalist, so when you when you're an elementalist, you get increased a buff effect of the golems, and you're also elemental ailment immune. So you can see chill avoidance, uh, freeze, shock, 315% ignite, and then um, I get really high physical damage reduction from the chaos golem scaling, and I have 1390 regen off of the stone golem scaling, and if you increase the level of the stone golem more, you'll get even more, like, this is only a level 25 stone golem, because we're running a brass dome, like, this isn't even maximum D, uh, like, DPS, there's no minion damage on the rings, there's 20 on the, on the, uh, glove, we have a brass dome, this is 8 eminence, 3 harmony, this is 11 primordial jewels, it's just a big tree of primordial jewels. You don't need a three slot voices. You can just use another large cluster jewel and don't take the rotting claws because in my build, I'm doing the thing where I run, um, an, uh, wait. Awaken Generosity with Divergent Dread Banner. So we have the extra 5% Impale and we run Anomalous Impale. So we have the 10%. So we're getting 100% Impale with only one Rotten Claws, just like the zombie build. So we have learned a lot and really um, our builds are just getting better and better. Found uh, Divergent Flesh Offering. Obviously, this doesn't help for AFK Blight. Um, and then I, I did some other cool thing. So we don't have specters, so no frenzy charges like our Chaos Golem build, okay? So no no frenzy charges, no power charges right now. We could do a shield and we could go Necromantic Aegis in an energy shield build where we do like the auras. And then we're right next to Necromantic Aegis and we give away a shield with frenzies and powers, for example. Probably more damage than another wand. The, the other thing is um, because I can't go and animate Guardian... I lost Kingmaker Fortify, so I don't have Fortify. Um, I lost the Crit Immune, which is why we're wearing the Brass Dome. And we also don't, didn't have Culling Strike anymore. So I added Culling Strike to my Chaos Golem. And then my Chaos Golem has the Feeding Frenzy. And he's also using Anomalous blood Bloodlust, so 10% chance to crush for 2 seconds on hit. And so my we know that my Chaos Golem's also ranged. He's a melee. He, he saw him shoot his Sunder right there. Um, he's fast as fuck. He's feeding frenzy. He, he's doing it all. Look, he actually keeps the feeding frenzy buff up quite a lot. So I think he's actually triggering anomalous bloodlust. And then he's obviously gonna culling strike things, which is really cool. Um, so we're really only missing fortify, which is just a defense, and we have more defense in this build of like physical damage reduction, armor, crit, crit immune for sure. Um, then this is all in like kind of kind of a budget elementalist still looks really fucking good all you need for this build to get it started is the primordial chain and the jewels 
you would just need like the anima stone primordial might and um a couple eminence and uh, harmony or something like it's really 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 silly and then people will say off of this Ethan, can i go chaos golems yeah chaos golems are really good too in this exact thing with different auras and different curses of course but um the power charges didn't do anything because the uh chaos golem couldn't crit anyways and it didn't gain anything from the extra 50 crit multi on the um on the kingmaker either so honestly we could just go eight chaos golems with this build and from my testing chaos golems has a better clear but stone golems has a better is a better boss dps killer so you will notice well you notice maybe during this um i had way better boss damage and so i've noticed that i don't think i'll lose any t16s uh blights i think my boss cps is way better and it pu it really pu puts a big difference between the two obviously we still don't have in this build there's no curse no frenzy charges uh no look at that damage look at the damage that's only like four okay here we go again oh no he's gonna make it actually Oh no, he made it. Bad build. <laughs> How did he make it? <laughs> but uh, it, it's pretty similar, right? And then uh, the the big difference is these dudes have to run around, roll around and shit, and they slam. They do probably better single target, but then they have worse AOE because the, the Chaos Golem was legit insanity. It was insanity. So then I wonder if you don't need area of effect if you run the Primordial Chain and you can go like... Uh, extra extra link with the awakened void manip if you had the primordial chain there's a bunch of bunch of shit to still try um obviously just wanted to get this out here about the chaos goal i mean the, the stone golems it's really cool how did i leak and this was only two towers uh, and this is elementalist and then there's some other stuff because we don't have skitter bots we're not chilling and we're not uh shocking so then i took shaper of storms uh, as part of the skill tree, part of the elementalist, and so you can actually still shock, but half of this requires actually using abilities. So I have a storm brand, hex touch, vulnerability, so it'll shock and it'll curse. Um, and then I have the desecrate, fl divergent flesh offering, uh, pride. So five things that aren't used while I'm AFK, um, and then they're automatically used with convocation. Okay, let's loot. This is T16 triple teal. So we were already saying before it's like 80 to 85 C back on average of based on excellence. There's a bunch of stacked decks already. Okay, fossils, nice. Jagged, frigid, dense, pristines. Let me get my flame dash back. And uh, it's funny, in this build, because you don't run any other minions, we have so much room for other stuff. And for anyone who asks, uh, can you run carry on instead of the stones? Or could you add carry on as a third golem and then put it in the six link and have stone it as a support with the chaos as a support? And uh, yes. But then the carry on golems gain more damage for non golems, which is literally the thing that the amulet doesn't let you do. So the amulet doesn't work very well with primordial chain. So this is why the core of this build is the primordial chain. It's to not go carry on golems because you can't be, be well, you could, but you'll lose 50% more damage by going primordial chain. And it's just probably not worth it. Um, yep. So, Primordial Chain, Stone Golems, Primordial Chain, Chaos Golems, and what other Golems are there? Ice Golems with Replica Cold Iron Points on a budget kick. For this build, obviously, two Cold Iron Points, AFK Blight, Primordial Chain, Brass Dome for survivability. You don't even need a Headhunter. You could honestly run a Stygian Vice with Blind um, Life and uh, maybe some, some damage, uh, physical damage. You run Brutality, so don't add Cold or, or Chaos. Uh, that was the loot. Um... For a second, I was like, yep, a bottled faith. Yep, I got that. Let's open up these six stag decks together. Guy's trying to buy my uh, rogue markers.
That was pretty cool, though. Uh, I don't think that was ADC of loot from that map, so that was probably one of my worst. But, either way, stone golems look goddamn sick. I highly recommend them. I'm going to leave a path of building, a link to my path of building in the, in the description f below for you guys, so you guys can try this yourself, too. Uh, chaos golems are, I mean, stone golems are really cool. Could highly recommend checking them out as well and checking out Primordial Chain and trying this uh, higher eminence. I go eight eminence, three harmony, so that kind of a ratio, and uh, it it seems really fun. Uh, seems pretty good, and uh, it be with only having two golems, this is actually pretty good because uh, if we had a third, then harmony start to get better. Because for every for an extra golem per harmony, you'll gain an extra. Um, 20 golem damage and we have three harmonies so this is like 60 golem damage for adding an extra different golem and if we had more harmonies it would be even more but we only have three so either way thank you guys for watching thanks for hanging out i hope you guys enjoyed this stone golem showcase uh i don't even have the cool special stone golem yet with the 20 percent cooldown recovery rate this is just base stone golem but uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys, so thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone who joins the Patreon and the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!